Ola, until I get my lighting figured out, I don't know where the heck I'm going to be anymore. I need umbrella light super duper bad in my room because the lighting is very yellow and it's just a whole big thing. And I'm just like, me. And so, yeah, I'm going to film my mascara collection. I do have tons of mascaras and I recently went through them and gave, like, a lot, like this much to my sister. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to start out with the ones that are, like, on my vanity when I do my makeup and stuff. Um, and then the ones that, like, I use on other people and they're just, uh, just are, like, kind of more away. But I still use them pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so we're going to get sorted. The first one that is my love is my Buxom Lash. And this is the original one, I believe. And this one is in black is black. I love this one so much. It's kind of like my topper mascara. And this is from Bare Essentials. Bare Essentials. And it like, it's just like a great topper mascara. It kind of just like accentuates every lash. It's quite a large brush if you can see the bristles. Um, and they're, whoops, and they're really thin up in the, uh, up in the front. So it's easy to really get the inner corner lashes and get a lot of product on them. So that is number one. Number two is my Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal. I love this one. It's very similar to the Buxom one. Um, and I believe this retails for about $8. This retails for $18 or $19. But this one is uh, has like very short rubber bristles. And those are my favorite kind of mascaras, the short um, kind of stubby rubber bristles. I like this for lengthening, volumizing. Um, I definitely, this is one of my favorite all-time mascaras. Then I'm obsessed with the NYX Doll Eyes Mascara for a few reasons. Um, look, there's presents. I can't wait for Christmas. This one has um, fibers in it, if you can see. I just kind of like put the tip there. If you can see those little ones, they have fibers. Um, and they kind of like accentuate your eyelashes and add fibers. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of smells like bananas. I love the smell of mascara. A lot of people don't, I do. But this retails for about, I think, 4 or $6. And you can pick this up at your local Ulta or online. Or online. The next one is probably the mascara that I think everyone needs to have. This is kind of like an essential. And this is the CoverGirl Lash Perfection. Again, all of these are very similar brushes because I like the short rubber bristles that you can really just comb and separate your lashes. So this one, I think the bristles are very very stiff so you can really like if you have really clumpy lashes you really can just rotate it up to the base and up to the tip and kind of really separate your lashes for that spidery look i love this spidery look a lot of people don't but i do oh by the way i'm representing the flag bruh all right next thing is a do you can get from ebay um i don't know where else you can get them from but um yeah, me, I bought one from me, my sister, Lena, my sister's friend, and me, my sister, Lena, my mom, and Tammy. So, I bought five of these. They're, you can really find them for all different prices. I've seen them for 15 I got mine, all, all, of the, all of them, for $6. And basically, it's like a duo. It's Love Alpha. This is what I'll do if I don't want to wear false lashes, but I want to take the time for my lashes to be look really long and voluminous. Basically, it comes with a natural fiber mascara, and then it comes with a transparent, transparent, transplanting gel or whatever. So the gel is just a normal mascara. I really like the one. It's not my my favorite one, but I really like the one. Um, and the gel doesn't smell good. It smells really gross, actually. And then the fibers, you would put that on, and then you put this one on, which is just a crap load of fibers. What you would do is you would just kind of comb, comb them on your lashes and then you would go in with the transparenting transparent gel or whatever and recoat it and then it will add so much length and volume to your lashes and then you can also have a zit or a mascara thing if you want it won't come off, whatever yeah. I have mascara on my face Okay, so now, the rest of my mascara. Yes, I have a lot. Don't need to tell me. The first one is very comparable to the MAC 
Day to night mascara. Okay, this is really bad on me. Saliva does the trick all the time. Okay, so this is the Rimmel Day Tonight. I like it because um, I used to use this one all the time. And these kind of rotate. I don't throw my mascaras out every three months because I just think that's stupid. Because you're like, I don't know, just as long as you're like using it on yourself and not like other people, it doesn't really matter. So basically this is the um, volume side and you, it just basically it just picks up this a lot more product and then if you take it out the length side all you have is the same brush with less product all that product would have been on the brush before so that's basically that one um, I really like it for going out or when my sister's going out she'll use this one because she has this one as well because it's just as like a mascara so if you're looking for the hot naughty try the Rimmel Glam Glamorize first day tonight and yeah all right, the next two are probably my like all-time favorite mascaras of all time. I both have these are both the CoverGirl, um, CoverGirl Lash Flash thingy. They're both in waterproof because a lot of my friends come over and we go to the beach or we go swimming and we want to wear our mascara. This does not come off. Like I could I could have a shark shark bite my eyelashes off, and this will still be on the eyelashes while he's chewing them. So I have one for when my friends come over. I have a certain marking on one of them that's like for my friends. But other than that, I have both of these because I use them quite a lot when I go to the beach and the, and the um, pool and stuff. Etc. Etc. Ow, did you guys see that? You should gotta like rerun that. I got this in a kit. This one is from Bare Minerals, the Flawless Definition Mascara. Um, and it's not my favorite. I'm probably going to give it to my sister or my mom because my mom likes these types. But it's just a really odd brush. Um, I might use this for, like, my bottom lashes maybe. Maybe I will because that's nice. Um, yeah, so that's that. I mean, I, I haven't really used it much. Um, so, yeah. And then this is my pretty much all-time favorite mascara that I will purchase forever and ever and ever. Obviously, you guys see that I have a lot of all-time favorites but I just love this one it's from Lorac and it's a special effects it has a primer and the mascara now the mascara is the blackest mascara I can ever like see it's like so amazing and the bristles are like the it bends and the bristles are very 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 spiky like they're extremely spiky so they can comb through your lashes so good but now my lashes have like 14 pounds of mascara on them, so, yeah. And then the other side is actually a clear slash, like, off-white kind of color. But when it goes on your lashes, you don't really see it, which I like. So if you just wanted, like, a clear mascara, you could put that on just to kind of, like, separate your lashes if you have really long ones and you don't want to put black mascara on. I talk really fast sometimes. Okay. So. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. So the next ones I'm going to talk about are okay this is the rimmel london volume lash scandalized mascara this is my sister's favorite kind of brush the big fat brushes i like this for other people i don't really use this on myself it's just kind of too big for me the smell kind of smells like chlorine and then the essence get big lashes volume boost mascara I kind of use this for me and other people. If they have like um, really long lashes, I'll put that on and then use the CoverGirl Lash Perfection over it. And this is the NYX La Chick Flick Waterproof Lashes. Same kind of brush my sister likes. Just the really generic kind. And then my sister's all-time favorite mascara is the um, Maybelline Falsies. I don't really like this mascara at all, but I do use it occasionally when I have false lashes on that are kind of thin, and I just kind of want to make them, like, thicker that look like my real lashes, so I just kept it. She also has, like, 15 of these in her drawer. Um, I have the 24-hour CoverGirl one. Um, I also have the CoverGirl Lash Fanatic Fantic of uh, Volume Mascara. 
which is just like the Lash Perfection. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just like the Lash Perfection. Maybe the bristles are a little bit more squishy. And I have so many mascaras. This is Manic Panic from NYC, and this is a bright blue mascara that I uh, occasionally use. I do actually use this, yes. And yeah, that's just the color. I use it on my bottom lashes. Can't really see it right now, but I usually put on the primer. But you can kind of see it if you're close up. Woo! But I can see it when I look down, I can see the blue. But I really enjoy this mascara. It's kind of cool. Um, I have this one from LA Splash. I love this mascara so much. It's my favorite brush because it's just like that short, stubby kind of brush. And it's blue. And I really like it. It's it's a cool mascara. And I use this for my brows sometimes too when I'm kind of in a cry-cry mood. Okay, I also have my Benefit There Real. It's one of my all-time favorite mascaras. Probably if I had to choose... One mascara out of all of these, I would choose these two. Um, but it's just a regular, my favorite spiky kind of brush mascara. And I have the Colossal Volume from Maybelline in the waterproof version. And then the rest are samples, so I would just quickly run through them. I heave the uh, I heave. I have the Maybelline, uh, the Lancome Hip Most Drama. I've never worn this, so I'm probably going to give it to my sister. She likes sample. The Jane Ardell Longest Lash Mascara. Never even opened that one. I have the, I don't know what this is. Estee Lauder, I believe. Uh, this. I have the Stila. What is the Stay All Day? I quite like this one a lot. Um, it's kind of like the Max Zoom Lash, which I adore as well. This is the Hourglass Firm Nor in Onyx. Mascara. I have a baby buxom, and this one is used to be my all-time favorite mascara for my lower lashes. It's just like so perfect for them. See the blue? You can see the blue. So yeah, those are my mascara collection. Uh, that was my mascara collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give a thumbs up and make sure you like my facebook page facebook fan page and just remember there is someone out there that loves you just as much as i do okay i'll see you guys later bye